Hi everyone, it's your boy Zach. Second try because I was five minutes in and I wasn't even starting to talk about how awful this comic was. Before I start, first kill graphic novel, link is in the description. Two books are printed, New Kind of War and Cuffs. They're at the Fulfillment Center. They're just about to go out. Rock and Roll Ninja print file is being assembled. Uh, Rock and Roll Ninja has been included as add-ons for five different campaigns. So they're all being put on one backers list. If your address has changed and the book is quite late, you might have moved once or twice since you ordered it. Just contact me. I will update it. It's not going to update on your end. It's going to update on the backers list. If you've already told me about your move, you don't need to tell me again. And as always, I actually bought the book that I review in the uh, monetized videos. I forgot to show it for Batman. Gargoyle of Gotham. So this is Wonder Woman uh, number one. Uh, Wes on Thinking Critical and Doc uh, gave this uh, a thumbs down and I think they were really soft on this because this is absolute dog shit. There was the implication that it was the same old Tom King but somehow better but it's the same old Tom King but actually worse. Um, so this is um, in continuity but not as everything uh, that Tom King does. Tom King writes in continuity Elseworld stories in that even when he picks up from storylines from the previous writer, even when the following writer continues his storylines, his period on a book doesn't match before or after because he's always just writing about him and his trauma from being in the CIA and whatever the fuck has him so wrapped around the axle and it's also very tiresome but I will say that it's getting worse because he has written this entire concept backwards from the punchline so he wants to do a for the umpteenth time 9-11 global war on terror America's bad storyline he also wants to do a vague refugee storyline then he wants to do the the men's is bads women's is goods and everything is written backwards but forwards it's kind of like Tenet. I know a lot of people don't like Tenet. I don't like it as sci-fi because I watched it five times. And as sci-fi, it doesn't work. As a generic James Bond movie, it's actually pretty good. But um, it doesn't make sense when you try to unravel this timeline in order. So there's an Amazon who is six foot four. They say that in uh, very exactly. And we're supposed to believe that uh, random guys are just like grabbing her ass. So uh, it happens, or maybe it doesn't because we don't see it, we just get her uh, implying that it happened uh, through dialogue. Then she uh, kills this guy, kills that guy, kills every guy in the bar, uh, lets two women live. This, in the least believable set of circumstances, has America, I'm not an expert in Wonder Woman, but is the continuity still that she's been around for since World War II? She's at least been a hero in their world for, let's say, a few decades. That instantly, because of one, they call it a terrorist attack, it looks to be much more just like a spree shooting, a spree killing. That instantly they're like, all Amazons kicked out of the country and just everyone's on board with it. It is one of the most insulting uh, opinions of Americans I've ever seen uh, from a very arrogant slightly intelligent but way less intelligent than he thinks he is writer um, so he's trying to allude to things that have happened in his life and CIA he helped uh, he helped do it uh, and then he wants to like step back and like whoa these people man can you believe this? I can't believe it because it's not believable because it's not well written. Everyone in this world loves uh, Wonder Woman most of the time. Although they just had a whole storyline like a year ago about Amazons at war in America, which is not connected to this at all. Um, I'm surprised he just, since he was just being so fucking ridiculous, I'm surprised he wasn't just like, so because a woman killed men, they made all women illegal. Like, it's that simple-minded and just fucking just stupid. He's doing that thing where 
uh, people say reasonable things like, uh, hey, if you're not a citizen and you are in the country, um, uh, we have the right to say you got to go. Apparently you don't. Apparently all of these Amazons who are from a literal paradise, it's the name of the island. They all are like Venezuelans or Syrians. They're just, they're just refugees. Like what the fuck? They would be ambassadors. All of them would be ambassadors or maybe consultants or something like that. But they're just like, oh, shucks. I'm just a black lesbian living in suburbia. I'm also an Amazon. Oh, yeah, uh, I saw multiple notices for me, a non-citizen, to leave, and I just stayed because it's, it's all written backwards um, uh, from uh, the oppression, from the punchline. I mean, her wife goes to decapitate a fed with a shield, and then they're like, oh, my God, they shot her. Yes, she tried to murder one of them. That will typically happen when you try to kill a fed or any texan and then she's all horrified how could they kill my murdering seven foot tall uh, wife how could they do that she was just gonna kill one of them why did they all do her like this is fucking stupid as fuck so then we get the uh hey classic you got a white liberal what does he have to do black people they're soulful saints. They are eternal victims. They have no agency in their life. It's just, it's just the man. It's just the man. He's like posing right after he had his men uh, shoot. Uh, well, I guess it wouldn't be what, like her stepmom or something like that. Then we get more uh, America be bad. How dare we enforce any laws or decide who gets to be in our country as a privilege. Now, Wes was complaining that Wonder Woman is not in Wonder Woman a lot, but in Tom King's mind, it is because he wrote the entire issue backwards from this scene, where Wonder Woman easily bats back a bullet shot at her by a fed and says, no, thank you. And then we get this weird fight scene where they gas her up to a ridiculous degree. She's not just a warrior. She's an artist, man. I thought she was a diplomat for peace. Wasn't like that the thing, whole thing about her? So she's just like one of the American gladiators, essentially. She just beats people up. Isn't she not supposed to be a hero? She didn't want to go to find the other Amazons and say, hey, things are getting tense because one of our sisters is a serial killer. We're not citizens. Let's just go back to Paradise Island and we'll negotiate and we'll talk to people and we'll let statecraft handle this. No! She's like, you know what would really calm down this situation after an Amazonian killed 18 men? What if I just beat up like the same amount of feds? I don't kill them. I'll just beat the shit out of them for doing their job. Tom thinks he has some sort of get out of jail free card because at one point she puts the lasso of truth on this sniper and he says like, uh, oh, I was told to shoot you as soon as I saw you. But, um, Again, you can't write everything backwards and then have us read it forwards and have it make sense. We've seen one Amazon commit mass murder. We've seen another try to decapitate a fed in broad daylight. You, and like a year or so goes by in this issue, you have just avoided the entire issue and then showed up very clearly ready to fight. So she humiliates the fed, who's not a nice guy, but... When you're Sergeant Steel and your whole shtick is that you have a metal hand and you crush it, that's symbolism. And then we got Simp Trevor. Any idea how many court martials I'd get just for this walk? I mean, you might get reprimanded for not having your cover on, but is the law that you're not allowed to talk to Amazons? You're in Washington, D.C. There are cameras everywhere. So then we cut to this uh, villain who is um, an evil white guy who's been around since the Revolutionary War. And uh, I know several people thought this was a very cliche character, but I used to not believe any conspiracy theory, and now I believe all of them. Now, not literally, since, of course, many of them are contradictory, but we go through 20 years of the global war on terror. As soon as it ends, oh shit, here's a pandemic. That goes for three years. As soon as that ends, Oh shit, a country we never talk about is being invaded. As soon as people realize, oh shit, Zelensky is a puppet, 
and the whole situation is corrupt as fuck. Oh shit! All of a sudden there's refugees coming out of nowhere. It definitely feels like someone is constantly raising the cortisol levels of an entire nation. So it's some secret immortal guy in a comic book universe doing that? I do not find that hard to believe. As Wes said, at least they didn't draw him looking like Trump, which is what they would have done three years ago. But it was just stupid, it was dumb, it was lazy, it was arrogant, it was condescending. This is not Tom King, but not as bad as usual. It's Tom King, but even worse than before. He's gotten lazier, he's gotten more arrogant, his shit literally does not make sense when you read it in the order of the pages in the book. It almost makes sense when you read everything backwards from the punchline, backwards from the oppression, backwards from the stunning reveal. But forwards? Oh, God no, this shit does not work. It is definitely not a recommend. Now, I am going to read it because I've kind of been missing some Tom King cringe in my life, specifically on the channel. It's been a few years. Uh, Warshack, maybe? I don't know. It's literally always the same miniseries. It's, I'm Tom King, I was in the CIA, and some shit happened, uh, I don't want to talk about it. Like, that is the subtext of every single book Tom King writes. So anyway, before I go, first kill graphic novel, link is in the description. Thanks for watching, bye.